Well, we're back. How about we finish this up? Probably because somebody whined. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Actually, I was kind of curious if anybody was going to say anything. So the 51 Pico Ferret cap didn't do too well. There's two possibilities there. It's uh, entirely possible that that cap isn't the value that it says it is, but I don't think that that's really what's going on. And actually, I wasn't too thrilled about that that repair or installation of that anyway, which is okay. So I dug around, and the only other cap I could find that uh, kind of fit the bill was this 33 picofarad cap. Again, it's a silver mica. So we're going to try and totally remove those leads. Yeah, it looks like we're going to get that done. It's a little bit of a pain. There we go. So there's there's what I did, and not too uh, not too great. So we'll just try again. So I'm going to bend that to the side. little bit better job. I'm hoping that this works. Otherwise, I'm going to have two caps stacked on top of each other, and that's not going to be too much fun. And the other thing I could do is I could go on a mad search to find a better cap, or I could replace this. This, this is not an uncommon footprint for that little patter cap. Yeah, that looks pretty good there. So, I've kind of bent the leads around a bit. And yeah, we're going to keep that up against there pretty close. So a little body work is in order. And apparently my soldering iron has come up foul of something. It's starting to stink pretty much. cap can go back in the drawer of the damned. That's okay. Since we don't have hardly any electronic supply places here in town anymore, you got to do the best you can. So we'll just give that a little tinning. And let's see if we can get do this a little bit better. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. So we've lost about mm, about 19 picofarad here in the scheme of things, and hopefully this will be a better fit. So now I've got to go out and get this all warmed up again. If it comes close, which I hope it does, I can put the lid back on and let the thing thoroughly warm up. A lot of just kind of budget equipment, that's what this is, it's just a budget, a budget frequency counter. Um, a lot of these things aren't really well compensated for. <clears throat> so your best bet is to let them get good and warm, or at least up to operating temperature before you go twiddling on them. So we'll take this back out. Actually. Yeah, I'll just take this back out to where I was tinkering with it. One of the things I need to do and is replace this. There's, believe it or not, there's a like a splice there. And I tore the tape off to look at it, and it's pretty horrible, so I'm going to replace that whole thing. What that will entail is, uh, I can either get a new line cord, which is probably what I'm going to do, and looks like all I get to do is unsolder it from there and there, and then punch that damnable grommet out. Those are kind of a pain. I found that locking pliers, if you got a pair of locking pliers, pinch pinch that and it'll let loose. There's actually a specialized tool to do that, but it's it's about sixty dollars. And I'm kind of hard pressed to buy a unitasker tool like that. 
So let's get back over to the reference here and see what we can come up with. Okay, so it looks a little high. Let's see if we can bring it down. I've closed that little patter cap up. Mm, looks like it moved pretty far. And now it's getting a little more sensitive. Luckily this little patter cap has a, a screw slot cut on it and I can kind of watch how far I'm turning it. I've been turning it about an eighth of a turn just to get close. So we're getting pretty close. Oh, oh, well we're within, well it looks like we're within seven hertz, six hertz. So now i got to fuss around here. Mm hmm, well. This is what I was afraid was going to happen. We're down at kind of a fussy part of the range. Okay, so we're at um, <clears throat> we're five hertz short, roughly five or six hertz shortly. But the unit isn't warmed up, so this will probably go up as the unit warms. So I'm going to leave it there. And see how we do. So I'm just going to shut you off here for a bit and we'll be back when things warm up. Well, so a couple three hours have passed here and it looks like we've got it to settle right there. It's been flicking back and forth between uh, all nines, like right there, and all zeros. So it doesn't get any better than that. I'll let it sit a few more hours. I don't think it's going to get any warmer. So there you go, by request. Anyway, have a groovy day, take it easy.